so glad you found my channel, Sweet Uniquities, where everything I do here is always sweet and custom for an event, making it a true uniquity. There are people out there, because I've seen them on TV, that have vacation homes in exotic places, they have boats, or maybe they have parties that are so special that you gotta get on a bus to get to the party. I mean, that's so awesome. I mean, I've, I've never been invited to a party where we rode a bus. Usually I have to drive myself. Um, I do know some people that have boats and we've had boats in the past. So I, that, that I can check that one off. However, um, vacation homes, I have no friends that have told me about their vacation homes. There could be a reason for that. They could be trying to keep me away. And I understand that and I'm okay with that. But today we are going to be making something that you can use if you are one of those lucky people that get invited on a bus or a boat. Um, or if you have little goblins, you're going to be taken around the neighborhood for Halloween. Um, sometimes it's nice to have kind of an adult version of a sippy cup that keeps all your witches brew all contained. So, uh, there's no spillage and there's no bugs that get in it or anything creepy like that. So, we're gonna decorate it for Halloween so that it is extra special and you look extra cool as you're tooling around with your goblins this year. So let's jump into today's project. I hope you enjoy it. And oh, if you have a vacation home that's you know somewhere cool or you could have a party where there's a bus involved, let me know because my calendar's pretty open. I got I got some free time. I got All of these items plus the gauze came from Dollar Tree. Due to my power tool challenges, my husband chose to drill the holes in the top of the lid of the container. Um, we put one for the straw hole and then another one for the air. And um, I put the, um, the foam, the foam round on top of the lid to give height to the mummy's head. I'm gonna glue this on top with the Mod Podge. And whenever I did do this, I left the, um, the straw in the hole to help keep it from shifting. And then for the smaller hole, I just used the end of a um, plastic paintbrush. And that worked great. This project actually was inspired by my friend Dawn. She makes boat buckets or bus buckets all the time in special themes for different party events for all of her friends. So thanks so much, Dawn, for the great idea today. Now using my Mod Podge, I just um, you know glue on the, the lid. And I actually did use a serrated knife and I kind of chiseled the edges of the top part of the foam to give it some less blocky look to it. Um, and then now what I'm doing, I'm just taking gauze and I picked up two um, packages of gauze and then I realized that one was thinner than the other um, as far as the uh, width and it actually worked out really, really well. But here's the first layer. That's what it looked look like for the first layer. All decoupaged on. I don't know if I needed to or not, but I went ahead and I used the, the, day, the Mod Podge and put it over the first layer just to um, help everything be on nice and secure. And then I let that dry. And here I'm putting on the eyeballs. So just put those where you think that they will look great and then set them aside and that you'll want all that to dry. I turned the lid upside down and I cut off the excess foam. And then here I am kind of just cutting the edges to give it a little more, um, you know, normal look rather than being so blocky. And then cut up your little um, strips of gauze into smaller sections so that you can uh, decoupage the lid. What are you guys going to do for Halloween? Do you have big plans? I'd love for you to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you have planned for Halloween. Now I set my lid aside and I start putting the second layer of gauze onto my mummy bucket. And because here I show the, the, difference, in the difference in the width um, and I kind of fringed the edges a little bit, kind of frayed them. Here he is before 
and I'm gonna start, there he is, isn't he cute? But he looks so much better with that second layer. It just kind of, make, kind of makes it look more sloppy, a little more um, more like a, you know, a, a mummy. I think that having the strips in smaller sections give it a more, um, more mummy look. So you have strips and layers of the, um, the gauze. Once it's all dry, I put the lid on and you can see there's a section right around the base of the lid. So once you put your drink inside, then just use a little extra gauze, wrap it around his head, and that covers the seam. And he's so cute. What do you think of today's project? Super scary, don't you think? I hope you'll give this project a try. And I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and you'll be notified every time I upload another video. Have a sweet and unique Halloween, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.